All right, brilliant. Thank you, Janet. Um, so I what I did, did, this is called the soul transformation technique. Feel free to ask me any questions, but I'll explain the technique and what happens. I use a pendulum before our session to find out. So I ask your energy body certain questions. So as you know, energy is everywhere all the time, quantumly, and your field and my field can talk whether we're in the same room or not. And always before a session, I start to bring the person into my awareness and get a feel for them. Imagine that I imagine that they're with me and that I'm talking to, their, to them energetically to see what information I can get for you. And I use a system which I said is the soul transformation technique and I go through a series of questions. First of all, the main question is, do we have permission to work together? And thankfully the answer was yes. If it was a no, then we'd come back to this at another time. Right, so we've got permission to work together. Yeah, we've got, it's all good to go ahead. And another important question is, is the client open to healing? Because you need to be open to change your own belief system. That's where the healing takes place within you. And it's not me doing that to you. It's you opening up your own gateway to allow that change to happen in, in you. And that was a yes, by the way. So you are open to healing, which is great. So I asked it a series of questions just to get an overall view of what's going on, what wants to be presented today to work on. And I've asked it a couple of questions. I'm going to ask it more questions as we go through. And I'll talk you through what I found in a second. But what I did decide to do with you was to do a little tarot spread just to see what cards came out. So I put you in the middle. Obviously, I don't know what cards are going to come out. But the, the you card came out as the sun. The sun? Yeah. Yeah. Which is fantastic. So that's you. That's your energy. That's you mm -hmm. as a person. That's where you shine. Right. You know, that, that represents you, which is fantastic. Uh, and then I asked it. I did like a four pillar. So in my coaching, I used the four pillars, which is your spiritual, your mental, your physical and emotional body. So I wanted to check in mm -hmm. all those and see how they are for you right now. Everything is great except the physical. Now the physical body came out like this. I'm right, okay. And that is the Eight of Swords, and that represents negative thoughts. Mm -hmm. You've imprisoned yourself mm -hmm. with the way that you're seeing things and the things that you're telling yourself. And that's why I turned to you. So I realise that. That makes sense. Everything else, by the way, is... I know really I should be doing it. It's really... Yeah. It's just so you know, your, yeah. spir your spiritual body um, is about sustainable results it's about perseverance your mental body is is the knight of pentacles so it's very much about taking action taking direction it's not quite a king but it's certainly progressing that way now the knight of pentacles can also mean a person as well but it can represent your energy and this is based on on your thoughts um, so this is about leadership wealth and business so somebody might step in to help you with the, the mental tasks that you've got going on right now and your emotional body was about change action and alignment so you know it, it's saying that you either are aligning to it but to balance this kind of wheel, we kind of want to sort out the, the physical side of you as well. Mm -hmm. So it's funny that the physical card is the Ace of Swords, which represents that kind of closed down, that negative feeling. How has your physical body been feeling? Um, bloated. Yeah. Once they get back to 
exercise my physical body wants to have yoga in it yeah my physical body is telling me and I'm, I'm doing something about it great my physical body needs movement yeah okay what happens to your physical body when you start to feel imprisoned by your own thoughts and trapped by your own thoughts? it becomes diseased it comes ill yeah because that's thoughts negative thoughts affect every organ of your body your vagus nerve everything is this what's been happening to you though um i have i have really good weeks and then all of a sudden i have really bad weeks and then i start doubting myself and I'm thinking what am i doing and why i'm so worried now is my husband's taking redundancy so to be sort ourselves out not, not redundancy yes. early retirement so we can start sort myself out about i want to go back to that so i want to build this business up this is what i work for but i feel guilty about asking people for money for the right the mental charging i've started thinking that i'm charging too much but i've got other people say i'm charging too little okay all right so let's see what comes up when i do the soul transformation technique i asked where you are right now how you're currently feeling right now and it told me that um it's an emotional pattern that you're locked in to and it's something that's occurred in this life in the past that set you off into this emotional yeah. pattern and the area of life that it's affecting is business it's communication it's siblings as well mm. and any of those that area yeah yeah um so i also asked what you need to help you transition out of this and it wasn't it's not anything that i can do with you today actually i had mm -hmm. to I, I had to ask it an additional question so i go through a list of treatment options such as eft a spiritual treatment and aura cleanse but it was no to all them and what it said yes to was hands-on healing that's what really cool. yeah that's what your your system is saying it needs now obviously i'm happy to come and do that for you no problem at all but it's just to let you know that that's what it was saying so now i'm going to go in and i'm going to find the emotion or the belief well actually it's an emotion it's not um a belief it's actually an emotion so let me just find where it is okay so i don't know if you can see this but i've got a list i can see it yeah yeah and uh, I'm just gonna take a minute just to. Can you see what I'm doing? If I... Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Can you see that? Yeah. Okay. So now I'm gonna ask what chakra we're working in, where the emotional block is. Okay. We're working in the root chakra, the sacral. So it's saying yes to that. I don't know if you can see that. So yeah, I'm, I can. Yeah. yeah, I'm going to go to my list of emotions on the sacral chakra. I'm going to say it's in row A, B, C, no, is it in row D? Is it in row C? One, one, two. Right, okay. So the emotion is envy. Okay. Envy that's coming up. Don't judge it. It's just right. like we have, like we all have a million emotions inside us that can present itself at any time. So the emotion that's coming up is envy. I'm gonna check it just yeah okay that is the right emotion so that's what's coming up is that jealousy um i think it's kind of hang on well i have jealousy on this list so it would have it would have taken me there if that was the one that was well, what do i need well i don't understand why I'm, i've got envy i don't understand envy 
Am I envious of someone? I don't know what my, um, it's in the sacral chakra. So it represents emotions, feelings, boundaries, intimacy, connections, sexuality, self-acceptance, nurturing and creativity, body issues. As you know, the sacral chakra basically is the area of manifestation. This yeah. is where you'll tap into your abundant flow. So right, if, okay. if it's blocked, with an emotion, a belief, an imprinting. For you, it's an emotion. It could be a path blockage, couldn't it? It's happened, it's in this lifetime, because I ask it. Yes, but I mean a path blockage in this lifetime. In this, it's, it's an emotion, an emotional pattern that's occurred yeah. in this lifetime. I, I have been guilty of being envious, but I've not been guilty of being envious in my later life. We're all so guilty. Maybe if... There's no guilt attached to envy. No, because that's okay. like they're saying there should be guilt attached to joy when there's people out there starving, you yeah. know? It's, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Yeah. All right, so not a much I knew that I had in me, so that, I'm, I'm glad that you brought that out. It's just an experience, it's an emotion, and yeah. we are emotional beings because we're human. Mm. So we can get envious of, we can get envious of, of people who look like they have more love, people who look like they're having more luck in their business, people who look like they're charging okay. more yeah. and are being paid well for their services. We can be yeah. envious of people not feeling the way that we do. So I'm not consciously aware of it, but I could be subconsciously aware of it. Yeah. It's, an emotional, it's an emotional pattern that is yeah. withholding you from yeah. fulfilling the potential that you want in your business. Right. Okay. I understand that. Okay. And that it, makes sense. Yeah. yeah. It's living in, in the sacral chakra. And what it's saying to me is that even though I wanted to do a spiritual treatment with you today, it's telling me that actually you need hands on healing mm -hmm. to shift this energy. Okay. Okay. So let me just see about, because even tapping that I normally do, affirma even affirmations and no, it's like no, no, no. So I'm just going to get some angel guidance for you. Okay. So tell me now what that's bringing up for you. I'm in denial because I am thinking like other businesses that are similar to mine, what am I doing wrong? So that could be envy, couldn't it? What, like, what am I doing to not bring people in to here? Am I not doing this, that and the other? So I am, so I am sort of envious but not knowing about it. But not, not wanting them to succeed. Not wanting them to, you know, wanting them to succeed. But wondering where I'm going wrong, yeah. So tell me about that. So when you, let's just name it and not shame it. Yeah. When, when, when you're experiencing the, the emotion of, of envy, mm. what does that do to your physical body? It deflates. It's deflation. So... It makes you feel, makes your body feel like you're not worth anything. You're not worth it in what you're doing. So it's all mental on the physical by the body. And the mental effect on the physical body is a physical effect as well. Because mm. anything mental is physical. It's all one thing. You need to be in balance. So when... So if I... Yeah. I, yeah. Okay. Go on. What were you going to say? Uh... I suppose you sort of go, you retreat as well inside yourself, don't you, a little bit? That's what you do. Yeah. Sort of hide away in the basement. And then keeps people out then, doesn't it? Yeah. Hmm. And then you're locked into this. The eight of swords, yeah. Mm-hmm.
All right, let's just let's just go with it because the more awareness you bring to this emotion that's causing the block, the more light you bring to it and it's not in the shadow. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Yeah, when we suppress and we deny, right, because we don't like to think of us as having feelings of, you know, anything lower than peace, joy, love, light, all that crap. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That is just crap because yeah. that does not make us human. And no. if we're not human, we're not alive, you know, we're not here and we are here and we all experience jealousy, guilt, anger, shame, envy, greed, all the 12 deadly sins that make us human. We all experience them. That's why we came here to experience every emotion. And if you, see someone, if you see someone outside of yourself, this is social media. If you see someone outside of yourself that looks like they're living it, it yeah. picks up emotions in you that tell you that you're in a state of lack and your, your self-worth, self-esteem, your confidence get knocked gets knocked it happens to us all well the doctors are recognizing that now aren't they yeah social media social media but actually getting okay, people down, to go off it aren't they up and down on an emotional but like this high yeah. lows highs lows highs lows constantly but let's just stick with you but so bring yeah but that that social media i i prefer not to do that but i've got to do it haven't i prefer not to do to both on social media i prefer not to but it's got to be done, hasn't it? Well, maybe this is the uh, mentor person that can come mm -hmm. in. This um, young action paced person who can come in and do all that mental stuff for you. Yeah. And take control of that area. Um, because you're, you're in the middle here. This is like your whole identity is, is sat right bang in the middle of this business. Mm. like it's not it is, just yeah. a business that you go to it's it's you are the business like there's no separation mm. everything no, yeah. else is really good except that physical that physical part which is right, what okay. happens to us in our body the thoughts that accompany it the emotions it brings up and the way that we behave so physically if we go for a cascade of emotions and shut the door to the world we're blocking the business aren't we our energy shut yeah. off we've closed down we tell ourselves a story they're doing better than me therefore i'm obviously not as good and then i'm going to yeah. hide away in the basement and i'm going to wonder why i'm not generating business yeah when actually you have everything lined up ready and waiting for the change to happen and it has to happen obviously with you physically and mentally right okay so if you think of it like that how could you open yourself up more physically so you weren't feeling that entrapment well i, I have got things in motion and <sighs> meeting more people who are in a similar frame of mind but not holistically a business mind so i paid to go to a new networking event well it's been going for a long time but i got invited to go it's uh, called urban it's every every other week on a thursday morning so i've committed my paying for the next one so i'm definitely going well done. i've been to age concern and i'm starting with them on the 10th of october every thursday morning taking my veteran work to them right. that's thursday morning and then i've got somebody from who wants to work with me to help me build the business and I help her with a this illness. Amazing, amazing. Yeah, so that's happening next Friday. Okay, so that could be the person that's coming in mentally. It could be the person that, yeah, that's why I smiled. Yeah, she's younger as well, but not. I'm just tapping into, you know, the yoga. You said yoga, didn't you, before? You yeah. said, you know, physically you need yoga. Anything that frees your body up from feeling in a state of limitation. Yeah. Like literally, it's a, it sounds silly, but think about the things that you can do in your business, like open doors, open windows, leave the door open a little bit if you're in the front room. And what I'm feeling is you physically need to open up and release. 
get yeah. moving get yeah. things moving your physical body will uh, have the effect that you rightly said on your mental and emotional body and obviously our behavior this has come out to say it's something to do with physical so mm. think about physically how you can change the energy within you and in your environment so it feels more free-flowing more, yeah more open well i can't open the windows and nail down after the door <laughs> yes whatever you feel is right and even you could open your front door your back door you could walk around saying an affirmation a spiritual affirmation. affirmation um thank you thank you for the thank you for the abundance i'm creating in my business every day yeah. I live my life with joy and purpose something like that now yeah. just for the sake of this video just to remind me why it was that you volunteered to have this um soul transformation technique what was the issue you wanted to work on the money is a big problem with me yeah so i know i need to charge more I, need, I know I need to charge what I'm worth. Mm. But like the meditation on a Tuesday night, we also said, well, you should charge five pounds, end up charging three pounds. You know, so because I feel like three pounds. It's why I should I'm worth five pounds at least. But I'm saying, oh, just give me three pounds. Sort of thing. And then I'll, I'll think, oh, well, just give me not 20 percent off. So I'm, I don't know why I'm doing that. So yeah the price is i should be comparing myself to what the charging in the address is down the road because it stinks of the chemicals it's, it's awful and they're advertising medicash for indian head massage and it's probably 20 quid is that but when i walked in the other day because my counselor wanted a perm and they don't do perm it stank so I'm, I'm not comparing like to like what do you want to charge for say indian head massage well, I'm charging 32 at the moment. And I charge 40. It was 40, but I put it down to 32. Um, okay, so what feels more comfortable in your physical body? 40, yeah. It feels more comfortable? Yeah. So when you think about charging... Does... Yeah, that, that's what happened. I can have an argument going on now inside my head. Oh, yeah. Okay, so don't use your head to answer the question. Just right. tune into your body. So, are you good at visualizing or? Um, sometimes in meditation, I can visualize. Okay, so just try this really, really quickly. Just close your eyes. Okay. Just take your awareness into the breath, into the heart center. Okay. And I want you to imagine somebody coming through your door brand new customer and they say hi I've just passed this place it looks really great I wanted to come in and ask how much you charge for an Indian head massage and I just want you to imagine yourself saying hi <laughs> thank you and I charge 40 pounds for an Indian head massage and I just want you to see yourself hear yourself saying that and just notice the sensations in your body how does it feel do you do you notice that your physical body changes shape do you do you cower do you open up what happens to you physically do you get any sensations anywhere i thought a cower okay okay so just imagine taking a big blackboard eraser big rubber and just mm -hmm. lean in that image up blow it away just see it moving away and then i want you to imagine the same scenario a new client walks down the stairs opens the door hey i was just passing and notice you do indian head massage can you tell me how much you charge and just imagine yourself saying hi great to meet you welcome to my to my business and I charge 32 pounds for an Indian head massage and I just want you to notice how that reacts to your body yeah, it feels okay does that feel more comfortable yeah okay great thank you 
just notice your body in that instance because that's what you really need to start taking aware of it's your body sensations that are telling you what's right for you and what's wrong for you there is no right and wrong in business when it comes to pricing what's probably not healthy is that we compare ourselves to other people sometimes we feel our prices should be set at this limit but actually it's actually uncomfortable for us and it in it's out of alignment with who we are and where we are right now in our life or business life that doesn't mean it has to stay there oh, i know this girl's going to talk to me about prices because she thinks i'm undercharging prior for what i do for my expertise okay but somebody might come in for an indian med massage and, and i might end up doing meditation with them because i what i do i in tune to what they need so what's important for you okay so from that exercise what did you get doing that visualization exercise then what was the insight into it i feel 32 is fine for the indian med massage but i'd have to put them all down to 32. Okay, so from from what you're saying and what the cards are showing me, you have to listen to your body. You're going to get so many people advising you so many different things. It's happened to me. I know. It's happened to me. And the only way that you can discern your own truth is by listening to your body. Right. Okay. Your body right now Not other people. telling you £32 is what you're in alignment to. Hmm. this time next year it could be 62 pounds that your body is telling you you're in alignment right, okay with. but right now your wisdom your inner truth is telling you that you should charge 32 pounds for an indian head massage you can go and do that with your whole price list so if you want to get in alignment with your business you have to get in alignment with your self right okay your body your physical body right now is the thing that's not in alignment with is not in alignment with your business because you're not listening to it. Mm. You're listening to other people. And yeah. I know how hard it is. I've done it myself. You have to listen to yourself. Your body is the biggest cue. It's your wisdom. It's your, it's you. It's you talking to you. You know you more than anybody business guru or not to get yeah. alignment and to open the floodgates to business you have to be totally in alignment with yourself because you yeah. are the business do you think that the work you've done on yourself has helped you to find out your physical balance and mental balance and just all the, all the workshops you've been on and all these opening up you've been on because i didn't know till Monday that when I got christened at my third eye was closed up and the christening I didn't realize that and every time you go and get communion they're doing it again aren't they so do you think I need to open up more no everything is a belief system yeah you need to open up more if you feel blocked but everything is a belief every every avenue comes down to a belief if you choose to believe that the, the priest has closed your third eye, then right. you, your reality will change to accompany that belief system. Yeah, if I understand choose, that. Yeah, if you yeah. choose to not believe it, yeah. then, it, then the, your reality will not match up to that, old, that other belief. Your well, reality... Yeah, to the people. Yeah, your reality has to match up with your belief system. Right, okay. changing your beliefs is key all right that like right. that's the biggest wisdom that i've learned from everything is your belief system is in control of everything right okay so what's coming up is the emotion is the blockage which can be worked with was envy yeah. it's mentally needs to make that shift stop entrapping yourself and you can do that energetically physically mentally and emotionally Everything is in alignment to make this business work. You, you are pretty much there, except with that physical thing that we've talked about. Which is easy solvable with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you, yeah, and we've just basically nailed the fact that you're not in alignment to your body, you're not listening to your physical body. 
and that was the card that came physical body card was that one you're entrapping yourself with, mm. with the thoughts okay yeah. and that can be the, the imp opinions and judgments of other people so right. you okay. you have to become the leader now people can give opinions and judgments and advice but you have to be the one that's that says yes or no to that okay because it's scattering your it's scattering you and it's blocking you okay. and you're seeing other people doing it and you're telling mm -hmm. yourself a story and then that's affecting you physically as well so that has to stop okay so the the angel card that i picked for you is count your blessings mm -hmm. So that's saying, thank you, universe and angels for the blessings in my life. So you probably want to take stock and look back of where you've come and the challenges that you've got through, the strengths yeah. that you've got, the mindset to keep going, everything else that I'm seeing for you is in, is in great alignment, spiritually, uh, abundance, be able, being able to create and make this business work. So you've come from never running a business before. Oh, yeah. to where you are now and the experiences that you've got now so you need to be grateful to yourself and and actually honoring yourself for the perseverance and motivation dedication you've actually put in and then i chose this card for you virtual gifts yeah so this archangel is, raphael yeah archangel raziel this is about, oh, yeah spiritual gifts thank you raziel for helping me challenge my channel my gifts and talents yeah, yeah. so you okay. can call call on him call on archangel raziel whenever you need him if you're with a client and raziel okay if you're with a client and you're able to offer a personal prescription tailor-made for their specific needs if you need to charge more for your time i would imagine if you were able to offer that service which is very bespoke and personalized that people will be um, more than willing to to have that exchange with you because it's very personal it's yeah. not just pick your treatment pick your treatment off a list You've hit it on the head. This is what I don't, I think, I want to erase on my website and just say bespoke treatments because people are clicking this box and I, and I don't want a box I want treatment. People, people want to kind of see what their options are. So you need to let them know that that's what you have. And some people will be yeah. very specific. Look, I just want this. Um, it's been bought for me for a gift. Just want that. But when you yeah. have them there, that's, that's the thing you need to get them there because they don't know what you know they don't know what they need yeah but if so if they're okay with like oh i just need to come in see if they're indian head but when you have them look i feel like this when i'm working with you uh would you like to have this um consultation with me where i can check out your Ayurveda constitution yeah. and maybe we could look at doing some treatment plans with you over the next three months how would that would that work for you? is that something that yeah. you think would work for you people are going to say yeah or they're going to say no but you have to let people that know that that's actually what you do as well yeah okay yeah does that help it does it does indeed yeah it's and on monday when i was going to suicide prevention to help out i looked up with a feather Hmm. And, and I looked and it was like moving all the way around me and it was going down and it was going up and it was coming around wow. me and I went oh. like oh, I bet people was oh, that's really weird I didn't think to grab it or oh, anything wow. I just yeah it's all the way here yeah. it was following me oh wow that's amazing it's amazing oh. is there anything you'd like to end on any questions or anything um... So when we start treatment, <laughs> yeah, I'll um I'll come in and do that healing on you. Um, well, I'll I'll arrange that with you. You can do it in my place, couldn't you? Yeah. Mm -hmm.
So did you enjoy that? Any feedback? Was it helpful? I need to stop beating myself up, basically. Mm. Because even my counter said I should be thinking about winding it up. Because she's seen the figures and she's so annoyed with Julia because she's seen the figures. <laughs> so I said, well, yes, yeah, so I'm going to give myself 12 months to build it up. The only thing that needs to change is that card. Right, okay. And that's a, phys that's a physical card. Let me just see if I can. Okay, so I pulled the full card next to it. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is what you need to do to get out of it, right? It's yeah. about new beginnings. It's the fool going on his journey. Mm -hmm. it's, it's him stepping out the box. It's him stepping into the unknown. It's him going on, a, on an adventure. He's seeing things differently. He's taking risks. Right, okay. Okay, so that's, that's what you need to do now. You need to just embody the energy of somebody who just goes on see this is about complete new beginnings so it's breaking free from the old and trapped thoughts that we that we get bombarded with because people offer us advice and opinions and it's not they don't know your spirit or your soul they don't know what you should be aligned to Mm. so only you know that and you do know that so as soon as you start to take ownership and to get your pricing right if you think that's a thing that's you know then and doing all the things that you said obviously taking that getting that girl into the business mm. letting her be the one to take some ownership of all the the mental activities that go on but as soon as you start coming fully aligned to your business physically by stop you know no more imprisonment yeah and that can be your energetic space your environment and your internal world as well then okay. and this is a complete new beginning this turns the key it, okay. sets, it sets you off then it's like old new so will just one session be enough I, I, i'll ask i'll ask now okay so, so i'll put that there so you can see what i'm doing can you see what i'm doing yep okay Doesn't know. Doesn't know at this stage. Doesn't know. No. <laughs> it's just. Right, so okay. we'll see what happens. I'll ask. I'll bring this trusted pendulum with me to the session, and then after the session, we'll ask. Then, okay. When? Um, when can you fit me in? I'll have to look in my diary. Um, maybe the weekend. I'm away the weekend. Oh, Friday. But um, let's let's go off camera. Um, yeah, okay. We'll talk about it. All right. Thanks, Janet. Bye, lovely. Okay.